Rosanova signaling to come out, so is Walsh. What a beautiful catch by Rocky. Nice catch, nice pass, Great a nice pass. floater. Great way to hold the ball, though, when you got to no get doubt. there. He's a, ju he's a junior. That was a beautiful play. Yeah. Heppel made something out of nothing there. Listen, you get behind the defense, good things are going to happen. He did throw a nice ball. He got it there just in time. But to hold on to that ball, I think that was the most impressive thing. The, uh, who's down, Mark? Hand off to Lawler over the left side. He's got some running room. He breaks a tackle. He makes another move. He breaks down to the 10, the 9. I think it's first and goal, Rick. First down, first and goal. Well, down by number one. Who's Chris Degri? Degri. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's down? No, 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 no. Lawler, now he cuts back, puts his shoulder down. Austin Hastings on the stop. 2.54 left to go in this ball game. Well, listen, I, I'm looking down here to the right, Mark, and, and one on one covers with Walsh. I don't know if the safety's coming over. Yeah, yeah. But you've got to throw it either to Walsh or where nobody else can catch the ball down here at the end. Heppel rolls right, scrambling, go, go scrambling, to... throws it. Oh! Patello was in the corner. Heppel it, made a nice pass. You he know was what? Right That's on a spot. great try. He was worried about his feet there. Yeah. Dropped the ball. But he did a great job getting that ball off. Really nice play. Heppel dra dragged the play out, got some more time by rolling, made a nice pass on the run. 2.34 left to go in this ball game. Patello, far side, near side of the field. Heppel gives it to Lawler over the left side. He's got some room, but he's cut down quickly. No, Mark, I think that's a nice tackle by number five, Jordan Sharp. Gavin Kenyon on the stop. Well, you know what? If you got to call a timeout here to get your best play out here, that's what you have to do. 2-13. Bennett is going to go with it right here. Fourth and goal. Takahashi in the slot. Who, uh, which way did that go? They timeout, timeout, Noblesville. Noblesville. Yeah. Millers take a timeout. They saw something they didn't like, made a quick timeout. Yeah, that's a win-win. That's a now Bennett comes no. back out, sets it up. Like you sure said, picks set, the play they want to run. Takes one away. This has been a fantastic game. Wow. Fantastic way, game. way to start the, the season, right, Rick? Listen, we've got some of my dear friends right now out in California watching this. Neil Fitzgerald, Bennett's greatest all-time athlete, and one of my favorite people, The Miracle, is watching this right now live from Napa, California. Let's see if we can bring home a win. You can send me some wine. Most critical part of the game, and you're worried about wine. Hey, watch... Inside fake, Heppel rolls to the right, it's tipped, and it's knocked down. Wow. They brought the house on that one. They had a hard rush up the middle. Heppel was rolling right, looking to Walsh. They brought the house on that one, right? Yeah. And if, if you're rolling out, you're looking up, and all of a sudden, it, it, it's tough. Ben has got two timeouts left. Let's get a stop. Miller's taking over. Well, at their own five yard line. You're one first down away, Mark. Yeah, 155 left to go in this ball game. So you, you, you can just let it out. Inside handoff. I can't even see who carried the ball. Let there was such a. Don't wait. Timeout, Bennett Balls on uses their timeout. So Quinn Guerin's grandfather just leave the arena. Eight 
147 left to go to the, this game, and you're right. We've got to hold them here. Eighth grade, Naperville Saints playing Downers Grove Panthers, 5, 530. 530. In Dorhofer Park, the Dirty Grove. Sh should be amazing. Should be amazing. Should be a good one. Oh, man, that was tough. Credit the Millers for coming in and bringing the house. They brought the pressure. They were able to get in front of Heppel, knock that ball down. You know, it's a, it's a gutsy defensive call, but it was a, it was a great one. Yeah, one it really was. One forty-seven left to go in this ball game. The clock will start on the snap. Over the left side. Logan, Logan, for on the carry. Third down, five yards to go. They are on their own 10-yard line. Bennett looks like they're calling another timeout. That was their last timeout, Rick Aaron. Are we back up? 1.43 left to go. This is really the ball game, Rick, if we don't get a stop here. Just moments before, the Bennett players moved over to the student section and tried to get him charged up. Weidenbach leading this team back on the field. I kind of think just like on that goal line play, you got to bring the house here. Yeah. This is it, right? Yeah. You know, it, there's no pride if you've watched this game. Uh, there's nothing wrong with losing 28-13. Uh, yeah. But if you stop them here and you get the ball back, it's right. worth the risk. Right, right. Interesting. They're going to that shotgun, so maybe they anticipated that. Boy, I... Hughes I, standing at his own five. Here's the snap. He hands off over the inside. Weidenbach well, is one of those ball. guys. Nice stop. And they're going to they're gonna have to punt this, right? You cannot go for it from here. Michael Heiberger on the stop. Well, what's going to happen is they're going to line up like they're going to go for it. If they, if they like it, they're going to hit it. Otherwise, they're going to try to get these guys to jump. They're going to try to draw right here, Mark. Bennett threatening to blitz. Now Hughes looks up, looks over to his sidelines. This is what get they ready, did last ready. time. Here it comes. And they called it. They ran right over that left side with the lead, two lead blockers. This is, this seems a lot longer. We don't have wow. blocks on either side. Timeout, Millers. Okay, so great job by Bennett saying where they were. I think you got to go for the block punt. 53 seconds left. That still gives us enough time, though. You run the risk of the penalty and then turning the, giving the ball right back to him. If you if you if you run into their kicker, though, you get that penalty. That's why they're not calling it here. Ben has played at College of DuPage for years and years. You're not going that <laughs> Long history of playing in Glen Ellen. Mark, there's nobody back. They're bringing the house, Rick Garen. They're bringing the house. Don't jump. I still put one guy back just in case. Don't jump. Here comes Bennett. They got the kickoff. Now this takes an extra six seconds when you don't have a guy back. Roll the whistle. That's a good quick whistle. 41, 41 seconds. seconds. There's still a shot here, Rick Aaron. They've had the most success tonight when Heppel rolls out. It gives them a little more time. And then I think you're right. You got to pick your spots in that zone on where you're going to throw it to. This, is, uh, this has been a great opening night, Mark. A 
couple of, uh, I, I think, really solid football teams going at it here. Mark, I have a feeling you're going to drop eight back here. I think you're going to rush three, maybe rush the front four. Heppel drops straight back. He's going to step up in the pocket. Listen, you're only going to have three seconds to get that ball off. You're going to have to make some decisions throwing that ball a little faster. Looking for Takahashi here over near the sidelines. They had a pretty good pass rush. Good coverage in the secondary. 36 seconds left to go in this ball game. Look at Walsh here in this slot on the near side of the field. Lawler on a wheel route. Heppel is going to scramble. He throws it, dumps it off. That was going to Walsh, and Walsh was dragging across the middle. I couldn't tell if the defender broke that up or if he just dropped it. But it was a nice pass by Heppel. Thirty seconds left to go in this ball game. You're gonna have to do something. Takahashi split out to that far side. Walsh in the slot on the near side. Heppel fakes left. There's the block. I'm okay. sorry, fakes right, rolls left. Now throws it over the middle, and it's picked off. Picked off by Austin Hastings of the Millers. I think he was looking for Walsh, and Hastings was waiting on that. So 21 seconds left, and the Red Wings turn it over. Well, I, I'll tell you what, Bennett never gave up in this game. They were giving up 50 pounds on each line. They did a great job. It was a fantastic game. Um, you know, we came up a little short at the ends, but it gave a lot of people hope, I think, that it's going to be a good season for the Red Wings. And we'll do it here from Kyle to the page, the final score, Noblesville 21. That's going to wrap up tonight's game with the final score being Noblesville 21, Bennett 13. We hope you enjoyed our broadcast, and this will conclude our programming this evening. Uh, thank you to College of DuPage and, of course, Noblesville, and uh, we hope that you join us next week. Thank you so much, and have a good evening.